How to make a DIY drink machine. First cut out a piece of cardboard like this. Then hot glue two side pieces on, but make sure the top can fold over. Next I made a piece to hot glue to the bottom. Then get the bottle you're gonna use. Measure where your next piece of cardboard is gonna go with the bottle cap being over the top. Then I emptied out the drink. And next I cut a straw in half so that I can glue it into the bottle. Now you're gonna cut a hole in the top of the box for the bottle to fit through. Then glue a piece of cardboard to cover the bottle and hot glue the top down. And then I made a sign for my drink machine. When you're filling the bottle up, plug the straw hole until you screw the lid on. Now all you have to do is twist and untwist the cap to get your drink. How to make a DIY paper squishy vending machine. If you wanna know how to make paper squishies, the video's pinned. First get a water bottle and cut the middle out. Then get a cardboard box and trace around the water bottle lid and cut it out. Next, you're gonna cut out a coin saw hole and a hole to see the prizes. Now let's open the back and do the inside. First, I got a piece of cardboard for where the prizes will sit. And I taped a wall so they can't fall out. Then I cut a hole for where you'll get your prize. And last, some decoration. And I made some paper squishies to add in. And that's how to make a super easy paper squishy vending machine. Oh my gosh, it's a fashion fidget vending machine. They come in mystery boxes. I have one dollar, so let's get one. Now for the fashion fidget to come out, all you have to do is twist. Oh my gosh. Let's open it. Oh my gosh, this fashion fidget is so cute. Her skirt spins and pops. Her ears spin and they have cute little bows. And her cheeks click. Here's what I got at the fashion fidget vending machine. Guys, I found a fidget claw machine. Let's try it out. Let's put a dollar in. I'm gonna try and get that wacky track. First, I need to go right. Now I need to go back. We're right over it, now we just have to go down. 
I got it. It came out. <gasps> Yay, I've never won a claw machine before. Now I'm going to try and get that pop tube. First, I need to go right. We're right over it. Now we just have to go down. I think I got it. <gasps> Yay. I got the yellow pop tube. Here's what I got out of the claw machine. The claw machine restocked with slime. Let's get one. I'm gonna try and get the middle one. Down. I think I got it. Oh my God, all of them fell. Now I get all of them for free. Let's try them out. I love these slimes. I give them like a eight out of 10. Here's a super easy way to make pins for your backpack. First, put some tape down on any surface. Then put hot glue over the tape as big as you want your pin. Then get a tack and put it in the middle of the glue. Make sure the tack's covered in glue so that it doesn't fall out. Then sketch out your drawing. Next, I cut out the drawing. Once the hot glue's dried, peel it off. Then you're gonna tape your drawing over the hot glue and cut out around your drawing. It should look like this. And finally, you're gonna make a back so that it stays on. I just made a little dot of hot glue so that you can stick it on the back. And that's how to make your own pin. How to make this super easy cardboard vending machine. First, get a cardboard box and cut off the top pieces. Then use one of the pieces and mark how long the box is and hot glue both the end pieces together. After I glued them together, I cut a little above the mark I made. Then I cut out a circle in the middle. The piece that I cut off earlier, I glued like this and decorated it. Then I cut the top so it can open up to fill. Then I cut a hole for the push button. Then I cut out these holes. Next, I got a sponge and cut off the soft part. Then I folded it a few times and glued it to the back of the push button. Next, I put something to catch the coins and a ramp. And then a wall so that the prize can't roll back. The inside should look like this. Then I glued a strip of cardboard to the front covering half the hole. And then I covered the rest with cardboard. Then I taped the box shut. Make sure the sponge is barely touching the box. For the clear part, I used a Ziploc bag. Then I decorated it and filled it. You can fill it with anything you want. How to make this fidget vending machine. First, get a cardboard box and pencil and outline your design. Once you've outlined everything, start coloring it in. Once you've colored everything, cut out the bottom. Next, trace a toilet paper roll in the middle and cut it out. Now, cut out the coin slot. Cut this piece off the top for later. So the front's done, turn it around. Now we're gonna connect this toilet paper roll with this by cutting two short pieces and sliding this in. Then with this, you're gonna slide it into the hole. Now use any container and tape it under the coin slot. And now turn it around and add some finishing touches. Now all you need to do is turn it around, put a fidget on, and it's ready. How to make paper squishies. First, line up two papers. Then you're gonna draw a square or a rectangle as big as you want. Next, you're gonna cut out your shape. Now you're gonna draw whatever you want on one side. Now you're gonna color it in. After you're done coloring both papers, you're gonna to wanna to tape them to the table, like this. Now tape this one the same as this. Once you've taped them, pull them off carefully. Now cut the excess tape off. Once you've cut all the side tape off, you're gonna put them together and tape the bottom. First, put the tape on this halfway. Then put this one on and fold the tape over. Then cut the excess tape off. Then you're gonna do that to both of these sides. Now cut the tapes off. Now you're gonna fill this hole with stuffing. Once it's full, you're gonna push it down and tape the top. 
Now cut off the edges. And that's how to make a paper squishy. Making paper squishies, you guys requested. Now I'm gonna color it in. I finally finished coloring it. Now let's tape it. This is the tape I use and I just put it all over. Now that it's all taped, let's cut off the extra. Now that it's taped, I'm gonna do one for the back. Now that I have these two papers laminated, let's put them together. I tape the sides together and fold over the tape. Now let's stuff it. And I'm done. A more detailed video of how to make these is pinned. I found a paper squishy vending machine. Let's try it out, it says one dollar. Now we pick a number, I'm gonna do four. And we twist. Oh my gosh, it's an Airheads Extreme. Let's get one more. This time I'm gonna do six. Ooh, it's a uh, gum. Oh my gosh, there's another. It's a Pop Rocks. Here's all the stuff I got, I love it.